We've done our whole pr placement process during the course of 2015 already, starting on the 1st of June and ending at the end of October. And during that period, uh, we have placed uh, the learners that are in commerce schools mm -hmm. and made allowance for the placement of additional learners. Now, coming to this year, we've had the churn in learner numbers that are now reporting to come to commerce schools uh, that have not uh, initially applied uh, to commerce and uh, from our statistics that we have available uh, from year 2014 to 2015 we increased the learner totals in commerce schools with more than 5,000 learners and we anticipate that uh, with the fee-free secondary education grant that is now uh, implemented, that this will still escalate and our conservative projections are that it will escalate uh, roughly to 7,500 uh, learners to be enrolled in schools. Uh, this is of course split uh, between grade one okay. and grade eight uh, where our entry points are for the different phases, grade mm -hmm. one for the primary schools mm -hmm. and uh, grade eight for the secondary schools. Uh, this, of course, now introduces uh, new dynamics for the Directorate of Education, Arts and Culture. Mm. And we are trying to ensure that all learners are eventually placed in schools that are knocking on the doors. Mm. So I must uh, uh, qualify this. All learners in grade one and grade eight will be attended to first, right. mm -hmm. and then the uh, subsequent grades uh, 11, we have uh, commenced attending to, and then eventually the grade tens, based on the number of places available at existing schools, mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, will be attended to. All right. Mr. Fries, uh, the region is in need of two, uh, 12 more schools, of which uh, four primary schools and then uh, eight secondary schools. Uh, what other challenges you know, it, uh, does the region face or is the region facing? Uh, well, besides the fact that there is a shortage of uh, classroom space, mm -hmm. uh, there is also need for more serious parental involvement in the education of the learners mm -hmm. that are coming to the various schools and also uh, a need to have a more proactive approach from our parents and guardians. Mm -hmm. uh, as you will understand, uh, we are well aware uh, that in Namibia at the age of six years, uh, learners must go to school. Mm. So. Uh, the day the learner is born or the child is born, you uh, more or less know that in six years time a child must go to school. So that uh, we are asking the parent guardian community to take our hands in strengthening what we are doing in commerce region to better access to education for our learners and to ensure also quality uh, education for our learners. Mm.